Hi Sage, welcome to your past life karmic lessons and please take note that this is only a general reading so it might resonate to you, it might not. Alright, so let's take a look. What are the things that you need to finish up from your past life and the things that you need to fulfill in your present life? You know, I've actually read a comment, okay, while I'm doing the spread, I've actually read a comment about complaining that my volume is really strong or loud. You know, that's just a very, very small thing that if you find my volume too loud, why don't you just lower down the volume of your phone, of your laptop, or something like that, okay? It is much better to be loud than, you know, you won't hear any sound at all, right? Anyway, um, <laughs> I really find it really funny. Anyway, um, okay, Sag. The intu your intuition, you have a very strong intuition. You're also very gifted. And in fact, that I feel like you also came from a long family of uh, witches and stuff like that, or Wiccan. And uh, right now, even in this uh, present life, I feel like either you practice or you have a very strong gift right within you. But the problem here is the karmic relationship that you are stuck to. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that you did not really make any promise to somebody, but it's like you're always battling for the things that you wanted to have. You also served as a soldier in a war, and you're very, you're very religious. And you were born around Europe, either in the uh, United Kingdom, Sweden, uh, Switzerland, Ireland, uh, Netherlands, something like that. Okay, and uh, you were imprisoned. Okay, that's why right now there are some things in your life that you feel so stuck, especially when it comes to a relationship, that there are somebody in your life that you feel like you cannot really get over them, no matter how many people that you've already dated, been with in a relationship, whether it broke up, make up, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, there's only one person who, on, who, always, who will always remind you of what love is. Now... You used to have two children in your past life, whether you're a man or a woman at this point. Well, you were born as a man or a woman. That's why right now, either you're bisexual, you're too feminine, or you're too uh, masculine, whether you're a man or a woman, okay, or you're gay. And uh, you do have a lot of fears. You, you are always, literally, when you are afraid, you always do this. Okay, it's like you you held your hands like this and then you put it near your chest and you keep on thinking and thinking and thinking. But unfortunately, you're not really thinking of a solution. You're thinking of how to get away from whatever it is that you have done. Okay. And most of the time you feel so alone. Nobody understands you. You always long for the love of your family, but your family, it's like they only recognize you or they only value you when you can contribute something. You always long for that company, that applause, that attention, okay? And you always long for that, uh, for that warmth that other people have, especially if they have good friends, especially if they have good family, that even if they don't have a job, their family are very supportive, their family still fights for them, and their family does, you know, find a way on how to make them happy and how to cheer them up but with you you have to come up with something you need to come up with an honor or create something a name for yourself so that they can be very proud of you but even if you already create a milestone or reach up something or or like created a benchmark for yourself it's like for them it's not enough okay and this is what you're always looking for now you are stuck and you always feel so stuck in a situation you never know how to 
how to get over somebody you don't know how to move on you're always looking back into your exes you're always looking back into your uh what do you call this into whatever happened to you you carry you you carry grudges along in your journey and the more you carry it, the more it gets heavier and you're slowing down into reaching your destiny okay and there's like some sort of avoidance inside of you because you feel like you're always alone okay you grew up in an orphanage and you're always a loner okay you're always alone and you're always pull away from the crowd or among from other kids and uh, you're always wondering when will my family pick me up or where when will i have my own family something like that that's why even in this present life you apply the same okay and you needed somebody who will be treating you as a family the trust and faith that has been shattered in your past life you need to rebuild it right now in this present life and you love simple kind of living you can live in a farm you love nature you love planting gardening and you are very close to animals okay and you all you can live in just a simple life but whatever that's been going on in your life right now it is synchronized from your past life you also died in a ship or you died drowning during the storm that's why every time that there's a big thunderstorm or there's a big storm or we and you are in a big body of water it's like you're getting seasick or you're getting that fear or phobia that the you know the uh what do you call this the um the ship might sink because you died while there's a very strong storm and then the uh the tidal wave just ate up your ship okay right in the middle of the sea you have also gone through starvation and there was also a point in time that you you do you serve as a knight because I, as I've said that you serve your uh, that you served in the uh, the war as a soldier so these are pretty much one and the same that's why you're also very walled up you're always up against your shield you always protect yourself and wear mask so that it's more of a disguise for you so that people won't actually know your weakness people won't actually actually know who you really are but unfortunately you, you reveal yourself much because of the mask that you've been wearing okay now what is the karmic relationship that you are stuck with you're very religious and i feel like you're also very intuitive okay i feel like even right now you came from a family or from a long tradition of uh, witches and practitioners trust this is something that you need to practice right within you children you love children but you don't want to keep them not unless you all would found the right person Stay optimistic about your love life, chemistry, attraction, release your ex, passion. Give your relationship a chance, past life relationship. Let go of control issues and this could be the one. Now the one that you're with, I feel like this is the right one for you. And you also have your past life phenomena, or past life uh, background, or right, your past life connection. The trust is something that you need to build. See, this is okay this is what you need to do or to rebuild in yourself again you, the circumstances that you have gone through it destroyed your trust and faith in the universe in life and in god okay but right now this is what you need to rebuild once again you need to learn how to trust and you also need to learn how to be trusted and don't betray sorry don't betray people okay when they trust you you have to be that reliable person that they can really trust you with their secrets instead of banking their secrets and use them against you someday when you have a fight or when you will have a uh, what do you call this when you'll have a um, some sort of a disagreement okay and you're also very defensive you lash out easily you love children but unfortunately you always have some problems having a children of your own or you're always having a problem raising children okay some Sagittarians they have a lot of children and um, and uh, I feel like their karma some of their children are really hard to raise hard-headed or they're always up against them 
okay and it's safe for you to love so stop uh, building up your empire sorry stop building up your tower and stop building up your high walls be positive and you always ha you always have that deep chemistry and a good connection with everyone you're a very attractive person but you need to release your ex as i've said okay i just mentioned this you need to learn how to move on from the past and stop feeling stuck okay every time because you always feel like in case that whatever it is that you have as a relationship at the present you always have something to fall back on that's why you always keep that relationship from with your exes and you always keep your relation sorry your exes at bay okay so that's wrong when you when you're in a relationship you need to learn how to gamble if that doesn't work then move on instead of going back and forth back and forth then what you're actually doing is that what happened in your past sorry in your past relationship it will you're just creating a bridge for the problem of that past relationship to go through and proceed to your present relationship that's why it never worked okay and you're a very passionate person you're a very you're very passionate when it comes to intimacy but you also need to learn how to reciprocate and do the things that you also need to do give your relationship a chance past life relationship the one that you're with you, that's the one that you have had a past life relationship you need to let go of control issues you're too controlling and this could be the one okay you need to let go of the control issues what you need to learn at this point move on okay you need to move on you need to forgive don't feel that you're always alone stop wearing mask be who you really are because that is the only time one more thing the reason why you're having a hard time having real friends around you because you are also not you're also not natural and real in front of them you want to attract the right kind of people be who you really are okay so that's that's also another lesson is stop wearing your shield up against your body stop protecting yourself because there's no war anymore whatever happens even if people betray you even if people will try to hurt you that's part of human nature what's important is that you learn from it and you get up every time you stumble okay and your family if your family only appreciates you every time that you have something for them then that's not being a family okay you cannot remove or cut off your ties from them because blood will always be blood but what's important is that you only need to impress and prove something to yourself and not to them if they want to recognize you someday they can recognize you but you don't have to buy their love all right let's take a look at your general card reading And mostly Sagittarians have some issues with their father or if they're very close to, your, to their father. But unfortunately, it's, gonna, you know, it's always going to be like that. And uh, some Sagittarians have some deep pain, hurt, and agony towards their mothers. Either their mothers never really address them recognize them or take care of them or they just simply ignore their existence that's why you're also having a hard time being a mother or if you're a woman obviously now let's take a look what are the things that you you need to learn the art of communication okay and stop running away and stop the changes and stop making unnecessary changes in your life especially when things are already stable as they are don't be so vindictive, learn how to be trusted, and value the relationship that other people give to you. You know, because you, as I've said, that you can easily get along with other people, but the thing here is you always jeopardize the relationship that you handle. Okay, because of your 
because of your trust issues. I am not saying that this applies to all Sagittarians out there. And please take note, people always get this wrong. I don't have anything against Sagittariuses, okay? But I'm trying to say that this sign is actually, there's they could actually be a better person if someone could guide them, enlighten them, and tell them that they are, you know, that they are better than who they are right now, okay? That they just need a little bit of a discipline and some guidance and some advices. I don't have anything against uh, Sagittarius because I um, I talked to somebody and she uh, she asked me why is it that I hate Sagittarians so much. I said no, people always get it wrong, okay. And there are thousands or even millions of Sagittarius in the entire world, so I cannot really hate all of them, okay. And I don't really label people according to their zodiac signs okay you are who you are your your zodiac sign doesn't really define you because remember we have moon rising and uh, other risings whatever and uh, we still have chinese year okay chinese signs and in chinese signs you also have your moon rising and other stuff okay so it's very complicated you cannot just mark a person okay this is sagittarius i hate you no okay so please don't misinterpret the things that I am saying, okay? It's a, it, it, because I, I, I'm, I'm very straightforward, all right? So, okay, so don't get me wrong, okay? Now, anyway, um, one more thing. You need to learn the art, of, the art of communications. Start making constant changes, especially when you feel like it's too stable, it's too perfect. The situation calls for, you know, for something different. It's like when you, you know, when the when the situation is already at peace, everything is is perfect, everybody's happy. Then you feel like, ah, oh, this is really boring. Let's, you know, let's create a mess. You know, you always create changes, or sometimes the drama comes from you already. Is it stop being so sneaky okay now and stop living in your fear don't wall yourself up be a little bit contented with what you have learn how to move on stop holding on to the past stop holding on grudges and that is the only time that you can free yourself and be who you really are okay the family that you've always wanted you can create it in your own home you can create it right within you if you will only learn how to forgive let go of the perfectionism and let go of the desire to be accepted you only need to accept and love yourself okay and i feel like you're also having a hard time having some real friends because they only appreciate you or they only want you during the fun times or during the time that they wanted something from you but when you're the one who only needed their company let's just say company not even money okay but so nobody's there to listen to you that's why you always feel like you're an orphan you're, you always feel like you're alone but what you need right now is somebody who is more likely to accompany you to understand you to give you that comfort without anything in return and to love you unconditionally most of the time Either you're looking for a um, mother figure or father figure and you are most likely to settle down with somebody who is older than you. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this time, Sagittarius. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls, just go and visit me at my website. It's sofiaangel.net. You may talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls or offer a pre-recorded video readings. All right. Blessings to you.